Hey guys, Crypto Mike here with the mic check, mic check. Is this thing on? How you guys doing today? So I've got a video for you, uh, mostly about Ripple XRP, but it's also about regulations and how they're going to rock the cryptocurrency world. All right, before I go in, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit that big red subscribe button on my channel. All right, and th that way you will get notifications. You will get the, the content being pushed to you and that you, you will be you will be able to dive into my world, into this world, into the world we're actually all in. We just see different layers of it at different times. All right. So I, I try to put it all together for you in a condensed version of what's of, of reality. And I just put it out there in a little video for you so you can you don't have to watch every day. But once in a while, you might want to take a, a walk on the wild side. Right. Who knows? You know, maybe maybe this stuff is just true all right anyways now hit the notification bell as well and that that way it will send you a notification whenever i put out a new video sincerely crypto mike let's dive in now this video is about cryptocurrency regulations okay uh that'll be my first point here now they made they're gonna sign into effect a law and regulation, um, a global regulation to where if you withdraw over a thousand bucks from Coinbase or any of the other big exchanges, um, they have to record keep. They have to they have to keep records and they have to send information to the Financial Stability Board um, or for the Financial Action Task Force. All right, so they are going to keep tabs us on us now regulations and this is for this is an anti-money laundering thing all right let me uh tell you what else i got in store for you david schwartz's new messages to us his new twitter messages oh let's dive deep on those and wave and ripple design book clue drop yeah they did leaf storm press put out a tweet the other day showing us one of the pages or i guess two of them um put together of the wave and ripple design book and i'm just going to take a look at that and i'm going to show you my opinion on it and why i am so excited about it windows identity foundation bg123 clue i'm going to go over that again in case you guys missed it bill gates trump tweet gematria Ooh. waves poly zen xrp btc and eth charts all of them are looking great all right, let's dive in. Now, I just brought up this article here. Nine days until the crypto industry must verify the identity of anyone sending $1,000 or more. Uh, actually, it's not that bad, you guys. It's not that bad. We've been waiting for regulations. They're going to happen. Okay, you guys, they're going to happen. And that way, the world, the, the, the regula regulatory world, the the Oh, let's see the the politics of the world, the uh, the governments of the world. They all would feel very much more. They would feel much more comfortable with the concept of cryptocurrency. Okay, now it's finally being pushed forward. It's not a bad thing, you guys. A lot of people are saying it's a threat. It's not a threat. Okay, this is trust me. The prices were going to go up. Okay, every time we have regulatory news. Okay. The prices go up, okay? Um, the, the prices are affected dramatically, all right? I, actually, they don't go up every time. Sometimes they go down. But now that we're seeing good reg, like regulations on this about money laundering, um, big investors, institutions, they're going to feel more comfortable investing in something like this. Okay, now that there's money laundering laws being put into place, um, know your identification laws, uh, and that's exactly what they're talking about at the G20 summit, you guys. Um, so let me go into this. Just in just nine days on June 21st, I believe, new rules by the Financial Action Task Force, money laundering, 
will force cryptocurrency businesses in roughly 200 countries to verify the identities. So to verify the identity of anyone sending or receiving more than $1,000 worth of digital assets. Now, this is kind of what banks do, okay? Now, okay, the, the, the bad side of this is yes, okay, Bitcoin was created to be your own bank so that you don't have a govern a regulatory governmental entity looking over you when while handling your own funds or taking control of your funds you can do it all by yourself now that is a negative this is a negative in that respect all right because now they will and and you guys okay our our funds our our portfolios are going to be gaining in value and we all know that that's why we're here right okay a lot of us will say yeah oh i'm in it for the tech but what really drew you to this be honest with yourself okay be honest with the world yeah it's usually nine times out of ten people got into this space so they can make money all right now uh, our, portf our portfolios are going to be gaining in value massively in the next few years. Meaning a lot of us, a lot more than right now, a lot of people aren't taking money out. They're putting money in. A lot of us are going to be taking money out. This is a way for them to feel comfortable. This is a way for them to show the SEC and the world, the rest of the world, the, the regulatory world that they are going to be able to keep a, a tight eye on the financial comings and goings of the money in our wallets. And they're going to be able to keep tabs on us, quite frankly. Okay, so $1,000 might be a lot right now. Okay, I mean, I've never, I don't think I've withdrawn 1000 bucks out of a wallet yet. Have I? I don't remember because they weren't keeping tabs on me yet. So now I will definitely know you know, I might might want to keep it below a thousand. I don't. To be honest, to me, it doesn't really matter. I am not using it for anything. I'm I'm not I'm not um I'm not a person of interest to the government. Okay, I really I'm really not. I, I don't use my money for anything but normal things, little stupid normal things that they don't care about. All right, guys. Now, um, I want to show you this financial action task force. I want to give credit to someone who credit is due um bg123 actually mentioned him on his twitter feed uh like a few months ago i believe bitcoin ben i want to give credit to bitcoin ben because he warned us and he told us about this weeks in advance i want to show you this was a couple weeks ago uh may 29th he told us okay watch about the FATF watch my show that know each other and they don't talk on a regular basis but they know that if I like there's there's a guy in San Francisco that watches my show oh oh Jerry Hardison Jerry Hardison, what was your super chat? Did he say F-A-T-F? Hmm. I cannot confirm nor deny what your super chat wrote was <laughs> correct. Just saying. Okay. So in this video, he told us about now. Now, I don't think we had a huge weekend. I think that was that was him just saying he that's what his personal opinion was that we were going to have a big weekend for XRP, Bitcoin and Litecoin. Litecoin did. Litecoin sure did uh, a few weeks ago. I'm trying to remember what happened a few weeks ago. I, I get, you know, there's too much, too much stuff happening. I don't remember if our prices went up or down. I think XRP stayed the same. Bitcoin, I don't think much happened with Bitcoin. I know Litecoin's just been on a tear. Uh, 
And he also called for EOS and Ethereum to go up. Um, Ethereum, no. EOS, nope. So nothing really big happened here. That was his personal opinion. But he did tell us that he has an insider who told him. And so I find credibility in Bitcoin's Ben, Bitcoin's, Bitcoin Ben's um, claim that he has an insider who knows things that us little people don't know. Now, he said that his insider um, knew of something that big that was going to happen that everyone was going to be talking about for a, a week or two in the news. It was going to be on CNBC. It was going to be on the big news. Um, now, this is what he's talking about. The FATF coming up with the regulatory clarity here. And that's what we've been waiting for for so long. Regulatory clarity for us to move along. Okay. For Bitcoin, XRP, and especially XRP, guys. XRP has been waiting for regulatory clarity. Okay. That's what people need to, to have. We, that's what the investors want to know that they're safe, okay? That there, there are regulations. That's this is what they meant by regulations, money laundering. Now, pe now they know that the exchanges aren't going to be manipulated as much, okay? A lot of people were afraid of that, and rightfully so. A lot of investors were afraid of manipulation because they could lose all their money easily through m manipulation, okay? Um, now, like in the stock market, there's a lot of regulations. It's it's a lot harder to lose all your money in the stock market than it is in crypto. But that's changing. Okay? That's changing. So, I just want to give credit where credit's due. And Bitcoin Ben, thank you for calling that. Um, I did believe him. And I did, I did I actually pot up a little bit of all of the ones he called. Um, so... Yeah, they didn't really run, but I'm glad I bought them, okay? Because this is going to affect all of those, all the top tens for sure. All right, um, now on to Twitter, Dave Schwartz, okay? Um, now he's put out a few, few new messages, and I want to show you what I found. I do believe David Schwartz is coding us messages in his tweets all right i really do i really do um who knows i think i'm i think i'm right but who knows i might be reaching i don't know a lot of people seem to kind of see where i'm going with this now of course i've told you about um Uh, where was it? Where was it? Oh, Joe and the Juice. Of course, that was the big one that I really noticed. $9. Why I think XRP is going to go to $9 as his next leg up. Um, there's another confirmation here, you know, in in this video that I'll tell you about. That I've, Another reason I think it's going to go to 9 Okay. Um, and... Um, I want to go up into his newer tweets. Now, the other day he put this out. I typed it in. I'm curious. I want to see if it meant anything, uh, you know, of significance. Um, if anything popped out. And one thing did pop out to me. It was the first one that came up. Believe now or pay later. Now, Suppose he's talking, suppose this is David Schwartz set, putting out a stupid, a weird tweet about Netflix of books, which there are Netflix of books, that's Kindle. So why would he put out something blatantly obvious if only there was a Netflix for books? I mean, maybe he's making a joke to this person. Um, maybe he, he is saying, dude, there's Kindle and there's Amazon. Duh. Now, this is a reference to Amazon, too. I didn't even think about that. You guys, Amazon? Ooh. Amazon has been dropping clues, too, you guys. I, he, he's been referencing Amazon lately. Um, I didn't even think about that before right now. 
but this this is a reference to Amazon, you guys. But it's also gem gematria. Believe now or pay later. So what he would be talking about is probably bearable guy's 589 prediction, I'm guessing, or just belief that the XRP will be the Phoenix, the one world currency. I, I really don't know if it'll be a one world currency. I really don't know about that, but I do believe it will be one of the top bridge. It'll be the bridge currency for the world, for all the world's currencies. And for that reason, global liquidity will make it extremely valuable. Now, believe now, buy now, or pay later. You're going to end up paying for your XRP anyways. You're going to buy, you're going to be buying later when the whole world is FOMOing in because they need it or just because they want it because it's rising in value so fast. Just, you know, there's a lot of different scenarios, but I do believe this could be a code in his newest tweet or one of his newest tweets here for believe now or pay later. And he's trying to tell us. Now he also put out this tweet at right after that. More X spring rolls. More X spring rolls. I typed that in. And more spring rolls also means pay attention. Just saying. I'm just saying. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe he was putting it out there trying to tell us to pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention to what? Well, maybe this kind of stuff. Maybe this stuff. Pay attention to his tweets. Pay attention to the world. Pay attention to Bearable Guy. Pay attention to Donald Trump's tweets. Pay attention to the G20 summit. Pay attention to the regulatory clarity that's coming out. Pay attention to the cryptocurrency world right now. Pay attention. Eyes open. All right. Now I'm going to move on to this is exciting, you guys. This is really exciting to me. I, I stared at this picture for a few minutes and um, I started seeing weird things. Okay. Now, this is the Wave and Ripple Design Book. If anyone who doesn't know yet, um, this has been talked about mostly by me, I think, but within the cryptocurrency and Ripple, especially the Ripple. Um, the Ripple community. It's been talked about quite a bit. Um, not as much as Bearable Guy, but it has been talked about. And I think this is kind of sort of a new kind of like Bearable Guy-ish type dealio, if that makes any sense, um, with clues and riddles, okay? A big organization has put this out, not some some guy, not some person who's trying to cash in on on the success and the um, the attention of that Ripple gets, because you know people do know about Ripple's community, right? Ripple probably has the biggest community of any cryptocurrency out there. There's over two thousand cryptocurrencies. I don't know of any community that even comes close to Ripple's massive, massive community. Okay, I don't know of any. Um, the next closest one. I mean, I guess Bitcoin. Um, I know Link. I know Chainlink has a big community. What else? Um, Ethereum? I don't think so. No. Um, what else? Uh, Cardano? Nah, they're decent, decent community. Um, I'm trying to think of like, yeah, nah. XRP, nothing even comes close to Ripple, XRP, and their community. All right. Now, a big, a big a big uh, company or corporation or uh, entity has been put this out. Okay, now they're not. They're taking all the profit, all the revenue, or whatever. They're taking it all, all the profit from this book. They're they're donating it to STEM. Okay, they're donating it to STEM environmental education programs so this is a big organization i believe they don't need the money but they're putting these out you better believe there's going to be a ton of them sold um interesting 44 that's uh obama's number that's, that might be a reference to obama 
who knows who knows see i'm trying to find little things and i try to put them together i'm not saying they're all right they're all you know but i'm saying i'm just i'm stating little things i notice and hopefully we can, i can pick out a few of the the many things i notice and put them together okay i'm not saying every single thing i see is exactly what's you know what's here what for us to put together okay anyways you know what i'm talking about now the wave and ripple coloring book they put out leaf storm press put out this picture on twitter they tweeted out this is a picture from the coloring book um looks like patterns these are patterns now i kind of looked at it um it's gonna be much easier when i have the coloring book in front of me to look at this is something okay this they're spelling words out for us guys this is a trip but yes they are spelling words out for us um okay ec i don't know sec um i when i i i'll i can't i'm not gonna go into it yet because there's a lot that I saw when I was looking at it. Now I just want you to know, it really reminds me of something. When I when I was a kid, they had these. These were pretty popular. The the magic eye books, all right, where you where you zone in, you look in the center, and you blur your vision, relax your eyes, and then the two sides come together, and it creates a magic picture of something that you would not see unless you were able to relax your eyes and check it out for a minute or two optical illusions okay um this has been used for a long time okay okay it's an art form um and it's a good way to hide things because no one would know unless they were looking would you know that the tiger stripes have words in them would you know unless you actually were looking? So you are you need to be on a different level. You need to be diving deep all the time to see things like this. All right? You need to be a multi-layered being. Okay? You need to – and you have to, you have to be in a, in a state of mind where there is hidden truths. There are hidden truths hidden in plain sight all over the place. And, and that's – that's what's going on kind of with this great awakening. We're starting to be able to see that the powers of be do hide things in plain sight. That's actually part of their, like the religion that they practice. All right. And I'm talking about like the Illuminati type stuff. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that right now. Okay. But, yeah, the coloring book, I believe, is going to be very exciting. It's going to have a ton of clues, but you're going to have to look. You're going to have to look hard. And um, I'm totally prepared to do that. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what else I saw in here. Not just yet. Okay? Um, but it is extremely, ex extremely exciting for me. Um, and for the rest of the believers, <laughs> whoever, you, whatever you want to call it, the ones who are willing to, to look. Okay. Um, now, uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, we're going to go to the Bitcoin coloring book. Um, what was I going to say about this kid? Okay, they did, they did, um, bring up a couple of different cryptos in here. Zen, like it doesn't even make sense why they would bring the, like put that in a sentence. It doesn't, the Zen state that can help you to capitalize on Bitcoin, like doesn't even make the sentence does not make sense to me, but they did put a ticker of horizon and they also put polymath just in plain sight right there. Polymath. I do believe those two coins are going to be, um, do really good in the next bull run. And I do believe that those two coins, um, are being talked about by, these corporations or this this entity that put the this book out okay um there's clues there's a lot of clues guys there's a lot of clues also i just want to ask you why is it a well actually it's a wave and ripple design book now also too i wanted to say that i think if if there's nowadays we have technical 
we have technical ways to change and alter this to uh, you know a different color like invert the colors maybe and that would make it easier to relax your eyes see the patterns but you guys try it out i i just i urge you to just kind of try it out like stare right at the center and relax your eyes get kind of close to the page and then kind of zoom out a little you'll start to see words and stuff in there all right try it out tell me what you find if you find anything interesting uh let me know in the comments all right um now this is coming out june 28th same as the wave and ripple design book that is the day of the g20 osaka summit where all the world's leaders Go and talk about finances and economy and regulations. Okay, guys, it's a big, big, big day for the cryptocurrency community. All right. Now, um, the price difference between these two, 917 and 1037. Interesting. Now, I didn't really think about this before, but I did. I just thought of it. Um, I did purchase these, by the way. So, what if there's a buy wall at 917, okay, for our next leg up? And I'm talking about Ripple XRP. The next leg up, it could be, it could go all the way up. It might FOMO in to, uh, we might it might get FOMO'd in to like 15 bucks or some even more who knows or it might go all the way up to like 10 bucks there might be a sell wall the comics 589 rule might take effect and there might be a sell wall at 1037 and there might be a buy wall at at 917 okay i don't know not saying it's going to happen but that would support my $9 theory, the one that David Schwartz was talking about, and the one that Bearable guy is talking about with the 5, 8, and 9. All right, you guys? It all comes together if you look deep enough. Now, they, they, uh, they are suggesting me Kari Mora, okay? They put out certain books for, to suggest with certain books, okay? Now, for some reason, they're suggesting this book with this book doesn't make a lot of sense doesn't really make a lot of sense because this book doesn't really have anything to do with a coloring book right or does it now when you type in kari mora now when you type in kari mora this book does not have anything to do with it but when you type it in in the geometrics calculator um this is what comes up. First word is Bill Gates. Now that supports, that goes with the, the, the pieces of the puzzle. It's starting to come together. The puzzle's starting to come together and Amazon is pushing these, okay? Amazon is probably part of this, okay? Amazon's huge, all right? Microsoft is huge. Now, um, I wanna show you this. I, I'm sure you, most of you have already seen this, okay? Uh, where is it? Oh, I got to close this and then get go back into it. Just give me one sec. Because I just downloaded it. All right. So this one right here, this is the bearable guy Christmas puzzle. All right, now check this out. If you didn't know this before, I don't think anyone came up with this before I did. If, if they did, let me know in the comment section. I'd like to know and I'd like to go find the video or the tweet or whatever, but I don't know why no one came up with this before. Um, but yeah, obviously, S W I F T is Swift, obviously. Duh. Now, when you look at these, why are why are W and I F different from these? Oh, because it looks cool to have the dollar sign and the plus as a T and an S. But also, when you type in W I F on Wikipedia, 
what comes up is Windows Identity Foundation. Okay, and this is a thought bubble right here. Now, when you dive deep and you you go, I I looked deep. I I, I connected Microsoft with STEM and the coloring book before I even looked at this. But then I typed this in, and that confirmed. You know, it confirmed it. Um, now, Windows Identity Foundation is part of Microsoft. Microsoft um, on their website. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you right here on their STEM page. Okay, Microsoft. They have a Think Taylor right here. Okay, Think Taylor. Now, this t completely goes with Bearable Guys puzzle. Okay. And I think they're telling us Microsoft, 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 Microsoft. It's screaming to me, Microsoft. And I'll tell you why. Think Taylor. Remember that. Think Taylor. Okay. Now, what is that? It could be a cloud, but it's actually, well, it could be a double meaning, but it's more of a thought bubble than a cloud. It's more of a thought bubble. Thought equals think swift swift equals who's the most popular swift besides the the payments um the the cross-border payments company taylor swift so thought swift think swift think taylor windows identity foundation go to microsoft that's two references to Microsoft just right here, right in this little space right here. All right, you guys? Okay, so I'm telling you guys, this is it's all coming together eventually. It's all coming together. Now, regulations, regulations, okay? I think that means regulations or, I mean, it could also mean some of, maybe some of the bankers are going to be taken down or something. You know, by the judges. I don't know. Okay. The White House has a big, it's, it's got a lot to do with XRP as well. All right. Now, and that goes with, that goes with the uh, Bill Gates. Kari Mora. When I type in Kari Mora, the one suggested to me. On Amazon when I go to the Bitcoin coloring book page all right obviously now obviously Microsoft did come out with an announcement that they're gonna be using the Bitcoin blockchain all right but I also think they are connected to ripple XRP and I think they're gonna be using XRP for something all right maybe Skype I don't know um, the Azure the Azure uh, blockchain, Azure cloud service, I think it's going to be big. And you know, cloud, the cloud computing is going to be huge in the in the future. All right. Um, now, this also is kind of interesting. This is the one they suggested beforehand, before Kari Mora. All right. The farmer son. Now, um, when you type in the farmer son, what comes up? I showed. I think I showed you this in my last uh, video, but I'll show you again. When you type in the farmer son, the phoenix comes up. Now type in the author's name, <coughs> John Cono, right there, John Cono, and what comes up? Rising of the Phoenix. Okay. Um, now, <coughs> by the way, uh, David Schwartz did change his followers count um so i could have been wrong about that because it was at 472 i checked it out it, the first thing that came out when i typed in 472 was phoenix now he could be who knows maybe he's paying attention to who's paying attention maybe he changed it because he doesn't want people being on to him or maybe he changed it because someone already someone found out the clue already and you know, he's, he's going to move on. Now, this is Donald Trump's, one of his latest tweets. Biden would be China's dream candidate. Why did he, why does he do that sometimes? He, um, 
he highlights certain words and he capitalizes them. CDC, China's dream candidate. So I typed China's dream candidate in and he's talking about Biden, by the way. He's talking about Joe Biden. Um, now, this is just proof because this is just basically to me, it's proof that he uses gematria in his tweets because the first word that comes up is Illuminati. And it makes sense to me that Joe Biden would be part of the Illuminati. Totally makes sense to me. Um, now, he also put in the same tweet in capital letters. Now, there's a, another guy, Serial Brain 2, who actually takes just the letters, and he really, really goes deep into Donald Trump's tweets. Okay, And Q, and he, he puts it all together. Okay, This is related to, to Q. Okay. Now, I did type in zero credibility, and zero credibility came out, and um, I think just one or two things struck me. I'm not saying that this is what he's talking about, but Nancy, Patricia, D'Alessandro, Pelosi comes up. So, um, now, Biden... Illuminati would be China's dream candidate because there would be no more tariffs. And it's true. I mean, he's worked so hard to get, to get our, to get, to make us good again, to make America great again. All right. Um, now if Biden went and had his way, yeah. Um, it would be right back to the same way. It's always, it's been where China's taking all our work, taking all the good and all our products are made with cheap China products china equality um they're taking our our work they're making a ton of money off us we're in so much debt and they're china is becoming much more powerful because of that anyways no more demands that china stop stealing our ip things would go back to the old days with america's manufacturers and workers getting shafted true he has zero credibility so maybe he meant nancy pelosi i don't know that's really getting out there but I just want you to, I just want to bring it to your attention that I do think he, and I know, I know he uses Gematria in his tweets and he's not, it's not always Donald Trump who comes up with these. Okay. He has a lot of people behind him. Also, he has, he has been, um, Class, he's been given classified information since he became president. You know, every time a president gets elected, they are they are allowed to get in on classified information. They they are allowed to know all the world's secrets. Now he knows a lot more than he did before he was president. I'm sure. I'm sure of that. Okay. Um, okay. So he also did type in this. I think his last one. And he typed capital letters, all capital letters, spied on my campaign. I typed that in and let's see what he found. Let's see what he's talking about here. Spied on my campaign, all capital letters. I had to type that one in. And well, what did I find? I found <sighs> there was a lot, but I think the truth can be harsh. Okay. Um, I don't think he wrote that. No. So the truth can be harsh. Um, left eye terrified. Maybe he's talking about the Illuminati, the global inquisition. I'm not sure. Let me know if you see anything here that that stands out. Okay, now you guys, we're just gonna go to the charts. We're gonna lighten it up. We're gonna go to these beautiful charts. Okay, guys, Bitcoin, and I'm not gonna take long at all on these. Okay, we're gonna go to Bitcoin. Looks beautiful. It's holding. It's holding above 70, the 7,500 mark. It's, I don't know. We might come down if we crash this little uh, trend line, but I don't think we're going to go below this one. We'll see. I don't know. It's a possibility. This is a shoulder, and we could go back down from there. I don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully we stay up because I, I, I really want to see alt season come about. Or it might, it might come out, you know, even if uh, Bitcoin does go down, it, it will it will start soon. Here's XRP. 
it's, it's in a, a it was in a triangle like that I made and then it kind of came out of it but it's still in a triangle um, it's just a little more extended now if it pops out of this resistance here then we have a great shot of having that big pop we have a great shot of having that big pop this is against Bitcoin here okay now the USD chart it's in a it's in a good um, bull pennant all right XRP is in a bull pennant, so XRP is looking good. All right, waves. I full disclosure, I bought some last night. I had to look at that. Look where we're at. It's holding that resistance. It's I mean it's holding that the support is holding it right there, and we're curving up. So what does that tell you? Look at same thing happened there. Downwards curving up. Higher lows. It's looking bullish. Look at that. We're looking good, you guys. Um, waves is looking good because that's a double bottom right there. Double bottom. All right. I think we'll see that. We'll see this. And then we might come down again. Or we might come down 50%. And then we'll go up to probably to here. Probably come up to here again. Possibly all the way up to like here or the top of that one. So anyways, you guys, waves look great zen is looking good horizon it's a privacy coin it's gonna do good uh oh no this is ethereum this one is ethereum ethereum's looking great in the next few weeks i, I expect to see a big uh, bull run on this okay especially you guys when these regulations come in I think we're going to see a big, massive bull run, guys, with all these, with all the cryptos. I really do. But look at that. It's been holding the support very nicely, and it looks like we're starting to rise above it. Okay? Looks like we're starting to rise above it. I see this is a massive opportunity. Ethereum is looking great. This is a massive opportunity to buy. Polymath is looking wonderful as well. Okay. By the way, if you didn't realize this, these are all the ones that the coloring book mentions. These are all the ones that the coloring book mentions. So if you do believe that the coloring book is was put out there by someone who actually knows what's going to do well, look, it's, it's the same as uh, it looks. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say it looks the same as Ethereum, but it is. So I guess I have Ethereum up twice. Sorry about that. I thought I had uh, Poly up there, but Poly looks great too. Poly's at a strong buy right now. And I would definitely, uh, I, I, I bought myself some uh, a week ago. But yeah, um, I bought some Waves last night. I bought Waves last night. I think it was a great time to buy it. Now this is, don't, Ethereum, why do I have so many Ethereums up? Anyways, um, what was the last one? It was Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin. All right, guys. Anyways, they all look great. Okay. They all look great. Uh, now, this is going to be the end of the video because I don't want to go on too long. I have a lot more, but I'm going to keep it for the next video probably. Now, yeah, Polly and Zen. I, I wasn't able to show you those, but they look great. Okay, guys. All right. Well, thanks a lot for being here. Thanks for diving deep with me. All right. Um, I'm going to let you go now. You guys be good people. Okay. Crypto Mike is my name. Cryptocurrency is my game. All right, guys. Love you. Crypto.